Hello everyone and welcome. In a previous video, we used a Microsoft Custom Vision service to build an image classification model to predict if the image is either basil, rosemary, or cilantro. In this video, we're going to use that model from the c -sharp Custom Vision SDK to allow us to make predictions in a separate application. With these SDKs, you can build web and mobile applications that can take advantage of the model that you just built to make predictions on user submitted photos. Before we can do this though, we need to get our training and prediction keys to allow our applications to make the calls to the custom vision service. To get these keys in your project, just go to the settings, which is this gear icon here. And then on the right side, we have the keys to call the training and prediction APIs. So just copy these somewhere where you can get to them later. Now it's a prediction SDK. I'm in Visual Studio in a console application. I already have a method to get my training and prediction keys when I need them. And to get started with the prediction SDK, let's go to NuGet and search for custom vision that prediction. And then we will install that. Actually, we'll also need the custom vision that training SDK as well. So go ahead and install that too. And I'll explain why we need that. And there's actually a third NuGet package you would need in order to take full advantage of the SDKs, and that's the Microsoft.REST.ClientRuntime package. Back in our code, after I access my keys, let's create an instance of the training API in the prediction endpoint classes and pass in the appropriate keys. And don't forget to include the appropriate using statements as well here. So the reason we also need the training API SDK for predictions is that we need to use it to get information on the project that we'll be using. To do that, we need to use the training API instance that we created and call the get projects method on it. From there, we can filter the project we want by name using the first or default link method. And now that we have a reference to our project, we can use that for our prediction endpoint. And we can call the endpoint two different ways. One way is where we give it a URL to an image to predict on, and another is to pass in a file to an image. We'll look at both here in this video. First, let's call it with an image URL. To get the URL, I'm going to let the program ask us for it, so I'll do a console.readline to read in the input. All we need to do here is to use the prediction endpoint and call the predict image URL method on it. For parameters, it takes the project ID, which is what we got earlier with the training SDK, and then the URL as an image URL class that's in the prediction.models namespace. And with those results, we can loop through the predictions, and the top one will be the highest predicted tag. So let's give this a try. We'll go to Google Images and search for an herb. We'll try Rosemary and we'll pick a random image and copy its address. Then we'll run the program and paste in the URL that we just copied. And it correctly predicted Rosemary as our top tag with a high probability. How you would predict using an image URL. It's pretty simple, wasn't it? Now it's a little bit more involved to use an image as a file, but you'll see the steps are pretty much the same as predicting with a URL. And to predict with an image file, all we need to do is call the file.readopen method and pass in the image path. I'm going to once again make the path as an input into the program. That comes back as a file stream object. Then on the prediction endpoint, I'll call the predict image method and pass in the project ID once again. And you'll see that the next parameter takes in a stream object. Now since the file stream inherits from the stream, we can just use that. And I have a photo of Basil on my local machine, so we will use that to test. Now let's run the application and input the file path of our image. And we can see that the results return that this is indeed, is indeed Basil with a high probability. So that's a real quick look at how we can leverage the Custom Vision SDK and C Sharp to easily make predictions on our Custom Vision model. There is a sample solution in GitHub linked in the description if you'd like to refer to it. And thanks for watching.